So in this video, I decided, hey, I'm going to do something a lot different, and I'm probably going to do something that no one else on YouTube has actually done, um, especially on this level or this scale. And this is just part one because it takes so fucking long to do. Okay, so I decided, hey, why not be like one of those funny like fucking people? And um, you know, since Rainbow Six Siege has um, a mechanic in, in the game where you can pretty much annihilate and destroy nearly everything to peek through walls so you can breach walls um, unless they're reinforced then you're ne gonna need a thermite so I took the map house I did terrorist hunt classic you have 22 uh, people that you need to take out I did most of them there was like five or six left I think it was five and they were in the bottom part of the map so I went to the upper floors and they won't come up unless uh, there's three left and there's three left they will rush you so then you can't do it so make sure there's four or five um, actual characters left if you were to try to do this or mimic the same thing um, and basically make sure that you have breaching charges so I went to every single wall every single part that I could possibly go to on the floor to breach basically through it so I can see through it as you can see this is what the up just the upper part of house when it's fully destroyed to capacity looks like that means windows floors and walls and I kind of wanted to do, like you know show like what it would actually look like if you, I mean never in a game will that happen because you don't have enough time to actually do that in any type of round and each round everything refreshes so it's not destroyed anymore so you can't do it really unless you do terrorist hunt and you just sit there like an idiot for three hours um you know go through like two three hundred um you know breaching charges just to get that done it wasn't that much i initially did the whole like upper and the ground floor level of house but um the enemy shot me through the floor from the basement and i died so i and i and i wasn't recording because i was going to record once it's done kind of walk around and finish off you know a couple of things in the basement for the video but they shot me through it and i lost i'm like dude that took me like four hours to fucking do literally i sat there for two three maybe four hours trying to do this because it takes time because so for some reason, sometimes it doesn't always work on the floor. You have to go section by section on the floor. Um, shooting it doesn't is not always efficient, and it seems like sometimes it glitches. Um, the look of it will glitch. So technically, you have actually fully destroyed that part of the floor, but it's glitched and it shows that there's still a part of a floor there. Um, that's what it seems like. You can tell by when, when you try to put your breaching charge. It goes green, yellow, and orange. You can place it. Once it's red, you can't place it anymore. So I'm like, okay. Uh, so as you will see, I'm, there's places where I try to do it, and it won't because it's red. It's almost like a hit or miss. You have to get lucky with it. It's kind of weird. But I thought this would be an interesting video to post on my channel. I will do the upper and the ground floor again, depicting both uh you know in the next video as part two because i don't want to just do the ground floor and not do the uh you know upper part that would be pointless now i'm going to do the upper and bottom it's going to take fucking forever but once i get it done you guys can see what the house looks like basically from outside as you're coming in and see like the visuals on how it looks like you, you would think that the integrity of the house would be so destroyed after all that that the house would collapse but it's a game so it doesn't have those uh physics in the game you know programmed but you know it's not battlefield where buildings will crumble and shit but um you can really do some seriously detailed damage to a house and not all houses have metal frames but like like in rainbow six siege some of them you can actually blast directly through the fucking floor like looking at houses that are like 30 to 40 years old now today those houses you can blow her straight through it you know some houses that are more modern have a little bit more integrity 
so they're more well built so you may see some metal frames but that's usually in like uh, if you're going to more urban or suburban area like the city like if you look at los angeles those houses probably have a little bit more integrity because they're near the city oh it seems like you know metal framed houses have more integrity and they're usually in bigger cities maybe i don't know my house from looking at it um yeah it doesn't have that type of integrity um the house would probably cave inwards if i did the middle of the house like i did in uh, rainbow six siege just going off that you know specific detail um i thought this was really cool really unique and i think it's really unique to post this i doubt that anybody went to that extent of actually trying to do this so hopefully i can be the first person on youtube when it comes to the rainbow six siege community that actually did something so outlandish and ridiculous um and so time consuming but to show everyone what it actually looks like if that house was fully destroyed you know especially in the upper floor not that anybody even during a rounds even if everybody dropped two or three of their breaching charges everywhere that you still don't have enough breaching charges with five players to fucking do all that just saying so unfortunately in multiplayer it is impossible to do this um it's only possible in terrorist hunt and it takes fucking forever but it looks pretty fucking sweet and i really hope that there would be a way that um i don't know um maybe if the radius was increased you can probably take a, a good good couple chunks and it will take half of what it took when it comes to breaching charges because me doing the upper and ground floor it took me about 500 breaching charges and i didn't really count that's just like a rough estimate so yeah it takes forever but it looks really cool because it looks almost like a war zone it's pretty fucking interesting so i i thought this would be very unique to post as a video and um yeah i did this yesterday i'm like yeah i gotta i, I gotta fucking post this because it's kind of cool i was just curious i'm like what it would look like if everything you you, you breach through everything in the upper floor and eventually once again like i've said um i will do the ground floor but i gotta be really careful and have i have to have as much health as possible and really pay attention to where the enemies are because they will shoot you if they see you in the basement they will shoot through the ground floor and kill you so just as a heads up if you're curious on doing it that's what happens so that's pretty much it that's all i really got to say um i am the mitten hopefully you do enjoy this video i know it's kind of a random video hopefully you do enjoy it though i think it's unique because i don't think anyone has actually went to this full extent as i have to do this so hopefully i can be distinguished and unique and different a little bit with this video um but yes hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button leave me a comment subscribe and definitely hit that bell so you get notified every time i upload my ridiculous and weird strange videos that i upload thank you very much have a wonderful day i am the mitten and that's my commentary enjoy the rest of the explosions yay explosions are fun Wee.